Beans. 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 Good evening. Beans! <laughs> Oh, my, uh, my, my voice is still recovering from this weekend. So, yeah, I mean, like, with my, with my streams on Saturday and Sunday, uh, all, what you folks heard was music from OC Remix. What was actually going on was a lot of me just screaming. Lots of screaming. <laughs> I bet you did, Ayami. <laughs> oh... Oh my god, you know, it, it feels so nice to, like, be sitting in my chair in front of my, like, real desk and, like, streaming and, like, chatting with you folks. Like, I wanted to do more for the land, but, like, <sighs> I didn't have, like, a lot of time, I didn't put a lot of thought into it, and I just kind of basically just grabbed my webcam and went, you know, and that's about as good as I could do. Like, you know, I did 11 hours on Saturday... And not even just me, it was just 11 hours of my webcam pointed at the stage and some music. But, like, still, like, tons of you, like, showed up and we were, like, chatting and stuff. And it was, like, amazing. It was really good. Like, I think I spent more time doing that than I did actual gaming. That was, ha that, that was a lot of fun. But the thing is, like, you know, the next LAN, which is coming up in March... Uh, I definitely have to have something lined up where, like, I can either do, like, just a regular stream or even if it's just, like, on my phone and I'm, like, walking around, like, pointing it at different things and chatting and stuff. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, you were, Yami. <laughs> it just, it, it like, I, I normally enjoy lands immensely, but, like... This past land, I was like, I kind of want to just be streaming regular, <laughs> you know? It was alright, though. I did play Final Fantasy, but I was more doing, like, you know, the the random kind of duty roulette type thing. <laughs> yes, lots of devious planning to do, yes. Yes. Oh boy. Yeah, so, uh. Just a couple things. Like, uh, first off, uh, thank you, Shocking Lucario, Lucario for, uh, for your follow a couple of days ago. And also, Rocco Octo, thank you for your follow, uh, four days ago. This is the first time I've been back on regular, so, like, sorry it took me a while to thank y'all, but thank you. Thank you for the follows. So yeah, just a couple things. So on my ride home, on my ride home, all right, it's Oregon, right? So, you know, now the rains have started, you know, doing their, you know, moist thing, right? And oh boy. So I'm like halfway home. It's starting to mist out a little bit. So I was like, you know what? My windshield's a little bit, you know, moist. So I kind of want to just like get rid of get rid of that, you know, and well, I turned on my windshield wipers, and uh, my passenger side windshield wiper just fucked off. <laughs> it just it flew right off. <laughs> I'm going like 45 miles an hour, the speed limit, down like our main thoroughfare here in Hillsborough, <laughs> and it just, I turned them on, and whoop, it's gone. <laughs> So I was just sitting there in the driver in the dri in the driver's seat, just like, uh, what do I do? So I frantically I turned the windshield wipers off because I don't want the arm to scratch my windshield, and like uh, I just booked it to AutoZone. Yeah, yeah. I guess there's like a uh, uh, there's a whole section of like Canada that you can't get to because like all the roads are washed out. It's crazy. Uh, 
I love the opening cinematic to Final Fantasy. Don't get me wrong; it's, it's a it's a great backdrop to like story time. So, yeah. So that was my evening. So I made a beeline to uh, AutoZone and picked up my uh, my replacement windshield wiper, and then. Uh, after that, I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna get dinner now. So I went to Jack in the Box and got a couple of breakfast burritos. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm round right now, for all intents and purposes. But like, <clears throat> yeah. So it, also, uh, the PC building stream on Saturday morning is a go. It's definitely gonna happen. Um, I have everything lined up, everything I need. So. All I really have to do is, you know, just kind of like <clears throat> get my webcam back up on the on the workbench, and we're good to go. So that'll be fun. Uh, so I'm thinking probably like 9 a.m. on Saturday morning, PST. Um, and it'll <clears throat> it'll be kind of a longish stream, but it'll be in two sections. So. I'll I'll do as much as I can before Paula's stream, and then I'll uh, probably ra like probably raid Paula actually, and then um, watch uh, Paula Paula do her uh, racing thing for a while, and then oh this is the part oh this is a part it's Yishtola that's my wife right there y'all that's my wife. So, yeah, so, like, probably, like, you know, head on over to Paula's for her race and stuff like that, and then as soon as that's over, I will start up again, and then we'll finish it up. And hopefully I'll be able to get it done before I actually flip over to doing games, which I still plan on doing that night at 6. So, yeah, it's going to be basically, I'll be <laughs> basically streaming all day on Saturday. But I can't wait. I'm really stoked. I'm really stoked to do that. Because, like, I've always wanted to just build a PC on stream. Oh, Yishtola, marry me. Please. Please. Oh. Anyway, uh, let's get things rolling here. forgot that I still have music going. I've managed that. All right. Speaking of PCU building, I still need to talk to you, but forgot. I had a question I meant to ask and completely forgot to. Oh, no worries, Iyami. Like, any time. I mean, you could even ask it here if you wanted to. But it's up to you. We could also do it privately, too. I love talking about computer crap. I could talk about it all day long. Alright, so uh, to catch everyone up, uh, basically we went through, we, we're at the point in the MSQ now where we came to some ugly realizations that like, basically, the only Sin Eater that's left is in Yulmore. Like, inside Yulmore. So, on on our way there, we encountered people that were so enthralled with Vothri that they turned into kind of, like, weird monsters and, like, attacked us and stuff like that. So, that was pretty weird. And, uh, finally, you know, Reen got a good look at that Meol, and... Whoops, it's made of Sin Eater. So, and then we came to a realization also that, you know, people go in, but they don't leave. So, I have a theory that basically Vothri is turning people into Sin Eaters and then killing them and make them, making them into food. And that's how he has power all over, all over these people. How everyone is enthralled with him. So... I don't know. 
so we came to all those realizations. Now, <laughs> hi, Pine. Hi, Pine. Welcome. So now, basically, we're we're gonna storm Yulmore. So, and that's where I left off on Tuesday of last week. So, hey, doing Pine. I'm doing great. With the exception of one of my windshield wipers going AWOL on my, on my way home. But it's fine. It's fixed. Microsoft doing its greatest doing its greatest deed locked my system up. I think that's a vote closer to replacing Windows with Linux. Yep. I would love to do that, honestly. I can do a quick... Oh, private message about it. Okay, let me go check that real quick. I'm just uh, answering a question real quick. Okay. There we go. Almost had someone crash into me today, being an absolute idiot. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Other than that, today was pretty good. Okay. My guess is uh, they were uh, they made a lane change suddenly, without a blinker, and without checking their mirrors. Because, gosh, I don't know when the last time that happened to me. Wink. <laughs> Feast of Lies is what this quest is called. I am not doing that one. Do we go to right or still tide? I think I'm going to go to right. I'm kind of thinking that this is going to be kind of an insane, significant night. As far as, like, stuff we're going to do this stream. Nope, rolled through a stop sign. Mmm, a Nantucket rolling stop. Yes. I love those. I think I'll get a new thumb drive and make it into an ISO for the latest Linux Mint distro. Mm -hmm. I tried out Mint, you know, and I liked it. It, it you know, it looked pretty good. Uh, I do want to give... I think Proton is still its own... OS, but I'll have to I'll have to check on that. Because I was kind of thinking, like, you know, what are they going to use for the Steam Deck? And like, if they make it work for the Steam Deck, and it runs a bunch of games in emulation, like, why couldn't you use that on a regular desktop? 
So I was kind of pondering that for a while. All right, here we go. Well, land sakes, Adi is back. <laughs> Hiya, hobo. Welcome. Yes, I back. I have come to curse your curse you all with my presence. When we step through the gates, we shall find not the place of hedonistic pleasure we remember, but a battlefield. If you are prepared for this, then let us sally forth. Ooh, I don't know if my item level is 412, though. Or maybe it is. Hm. Bonk! He would use his own people as shields. This area is older than Gate Town. There are bound to be far more civilians under Vorthra's control. But they do not act of their own free will, and we must not harm them. I also, I also really want to play FFTCG, but no one is playing on Untap right now. Ah. Uh. Sorry about that. I just didn't want you doing all that and it just taking up your time. Ayami, don't worry about it. I mean... Honestly, like, I don't think you could waste my time in any fashion. You know, and I'm I'm more than happy. I'm more than happy to to spend the time. As I'm if more we have a to. word. Press on with Alphano. We'll hold off the civilians and join you as soon as we can. You know, I used to think this was all about money, but, like, it's not really. It's like you've got, like, these these well-to-do people who want to, you know, es escape real world, the real world, right? The 12 guide you. They want to escape reality. So basically, they sign their life savings away. That's what we learned at first. Only to realize that, like, basically, you know, it's, it's a really screwed up situation. Oh, I haven't done my pets yet. Pet, pet. There we go. I fear. 
Even the soldiers, too. He would enthrall his own soldiers. I'll break your funny bone. You're not going to be breaking anything. While I was at the land, I might have prepared a little bit for this too. There we go. Jesters are dead. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Just a tiny bit of practice. Hey, Lucos! How are you doing? I guess I just have to keep going skyward. To clarify, oh, I see. I really like the name the name change though. Fingies. Fingies. 
Oh, who's this? Oh, I know who this you is. You will find my master in his chamber. But only should you kill me this day, and you will not. Why do you go so far? You may think me under his spell, but I uphold Lord Vorthry's ideals of my own volition. Man is an inherently flawed creature. In his vain pursuit of righteousness, he but sows the seeds of future conflict. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Lucos, I'm I'm actually doing pretty well. I was actually, you know, the land was awesome, you know, but I was, by the time Sunday happened and I got home, I was like, I'm ready to stream again. I want to stream normal. So, yeah, I definitely got to figure something out where I can actually stream like this, but be at the land too. And my biggest concern is my microphone, right? It can be really loud at the land, so. Thus... Have I chosen to place my hopes upon he who has transcended men? Upon he who is unbound by the vagaries of conscience? But enough talk. I am a soldier, and you are my enemy. I'm gonna enjoy putting this dude down too. I'm really tired Come. of this guy. Let us settle this once and for all. Defeat Ranjit. He's gonna make he's gonna keep me on my feet today, isn't he? Ah, oh, damn it. How do I get away from that? Oh my god, no.
like a gonna stop wiggling around. I think I can do that. But I like to wiggle, it's what I do. <laughs> this isn't a wow hunter. Uh, that well said, actually. <laughs> I did it again, and I switched my thing, and I am i don't know how to get it back. <sighs> yeah, I can't do that right now, sorry. Yeah, I said like I somehow switched all my toolbars and I was just going to die anyway, so I don't even know how that happens. Uh, so let's see. Yaddy, 
Here, just give me a second. I'm trying to figure out how this is... I'm just trying to get my I'm just trying to get my hot bars to go back. So keybinds, yep. I've got to disable that. There we go. Oh my god. I don't even know how that happened. Now I made the combo a little less difficult, a little more difficult to, to get there accidentally. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I said like I, I might I might do that later. I actually I want the ability to be able to do it if I really want to. Uh, I can feel it. It's them! The f yeah. Try and stop me! I haven't Keep poked it, it I haven't poked it lately. I need to take another look at it because there's a fr there's a, a some friends that I think would enjoy it, so I might buy a few copies. May the twelve guide you. Almost there. So Trinity, are you uh, are you stoked for Endwalker? Are you ready?
Yeah, I'm kind of wondering at what point in time I should start doing the whole relic weapon thing. Kind of wondering, do I do I do, do I wait until the end of the uh, the Shadowbringers thing to actually try and go get that, or should I just start doing it now? Also, kind of wondering if I could stream that too, trying to get it, or is it just like a lot of grinding stuff? I, think it, I want to say it's a lot of grinding. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm not quite 80 yet, so... I am almost there, though, so, I mean, some more, like, a few more quests and I'll be, uh, I'll be right there. Oh, that's right. I can't, I can't attack them. Mr. You will find already. my master. It's so relaxing to hear you chamber. again after the week I've had so far. Aww. But only should you kill me this day, and you will not. You may think me under his spell, oh, I but do. I uphold Lord Vorthrae's ideas of my own volition. Pumpkin! Man Pet is an inherently flawed creature. In his vain pursuit of righteousness, he there but sows the seeds of future conflict. Thus, have I chosen to place my hopes upon he who has transcended men. Upon he who is unbound by the vagaries of conscience. But enough talk. I am a soldier, and you are my enemy. So, I think the clue there... I want to say Vothri is a primal. Come, let us settle this once and for all. Have at thee. Two more pet pets after this. Okay, I got it. All right, we're going to get it this time. We're going to get it. Mind what Trinity said? No more Wigglies. Except Aoes. Hey! 
There he is. Goodbye, Ranjit. Screw you. Yeah, so I checked. You have to be through 5.1 patch content and do the Stormblood raid series before you can even think about starting your Shadowbringers relic. Oh, okay. Hmm. Aren't there other relics than that too, though? Like, isn't there... I, I thought there was a relic for every... Uh, every version of the game, I guess. Like, there was, like, an ARR relic, and, like, a Stormblood relic, and Heavensward relic, and all that stuff. Hmm. Could I do one of the uh, one of the other ones? Like, the original one from ARR, for instance? Or something like that? And is there any point to that? Are you alright, Adi? The citizens appear to have calmed down for the moment. I can only assume Vothri is otherwise engaged. Let's get to the upper level while we can. Hmm. You know what, Trinity, I'll have to look into that, because I think that it would probably be good. What is he doing? Is he just eating all that stuff? Lord Vothri! Your reign of tyranny is at an end! For too long you have preyed upon the desperation of the poor. Now you will answer for the suffering you have caused! And if you harbor even a shred of remorse, I beseech you to use your powers to redress the balance for the future of all in Norvrant. No, it can't be. This is wrong. It's wrong. The Warden, it's not just a Sin Eater. It's a man. Yeah, it's him. What? Remorse? For the future of all? What nonsense is this? There is no justice but mine. No future but mine. No will but mine. It is preordained. I was born to deliver this wretched world. Me? Unseated? No, 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 no. It's impossible. Inconceivable. Absurd. I am a great and wise king. Greatest and wisest. I reign from on high. I will not be brought low by maggots like you! Ah! <sighs> oh, yes, of course. I can begin again. Rebuild my paradise. Once I finish my dinner. Oh, God, no, stop him. Thank Chris, stop him. Ooh. 
What? What just happened? Where did he go? Oh, that's not good. Grotesque? Yeah, to say the least. What is that? Did Vorthri do that? We must give chase. Wait! That is Mount Golg, the highest peak in Calusia. It lies on the other side of a sheer cliff, and much as I wish it were otherwise, it is beyond our reach for now. But even if it weren't, there are people here who need our help. Oh, Alpha, no. Please, even if it's only to tend to their wounds. I'll help too. Thank you. I don't know if it will work, but if Vorthri's hold over the people is rooted in light, I might be able to reverse its effects. Will you let me try? Of course. We'd be grateful for any help you can provide. Well then, if it's decided, let's all get to work. So I'm a little confused. I'm confused at the fact that did was the mountain on the ground and then when he flew out the window did he pluck it out of the ground and that's why it's floating or Lucos, thank you so much for the 95 bits. Thank you so much for that cheer. That's awesome. Thank you. Hyena Bangs, welcome. He made the mountain fly, yes. Wow, okay. Hmm. And I don't know what I expected. I'm like, I was kind of halfway thinking that I was going to go into this duty tonight, thinking that it was the end. I, I, after, being, after going through ARR, going through Heavensward, going through Stormblood, how did I think? I, I I should know how Square Enix works by now, but yet this still fooled me. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe I should attune to this ether right now. Uh, 
Oh, I still need special permission for that. Never mind then. Good news, Adi. It would seem that Reen is indeed able to reverse the effects of Vothri's influence. Even as we speak, she tends to the afflicted in turn. The problem being, there's no end to them. We're trying to provide what relief we can to those who are waiting, and would appreciate your help if you're willing. You can now attune to the ether. <laughs> I got special permission. Yay! Hey, let's do it! Ah, perfect. Finally. So, here's some dream powder. We're administering it to the enthralled to keep them calm until they can receive proper attention. I would appreciate it if you could assist with this task. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like... Interesting. Now, those affected are scattered all over the city. I suggest starting your search at the derelicts and working your way up. When you are done, be sure to let Reen know. Oh, actually, Trinity, now that you're in the stream... Let me ask you this. I had something strange happen to me over the weekend. And it was a mystery to me and anybody I mentioned this to. So, yeah. So, I just happened to think about it when I looked over to the left of my screen here and I still have fear in Odin in the Shroud that I still need to do. I still need to go to Earth's Foon and confront Odin. Well, I tried to do that over the weekend, and every time I would queue up for that and stand there, after a period of maybe 10 minutes of being in the queue, my computer would reset itself. It would just, it would reboot. And the only thing I can think of is that something in Earth's Foont at that particular, in that particular spot made my video card go crazy because my video card like you know I put my hand up to it and I could I couldn't touch it it was so hot yeah and it was only there and only with that computer but now that I'm on my home PC I could probably go there right now and then just stand there and it would probably be fine yeah basically like Pines a moat, <laughs> but my computer. I mean, worst case, you just unsync and do it solo to clear it from your log and not worry about it again. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I would like to do it. But, like, yeah, it was weird. I was at the LAN. I was trying to do this. I was like, why is my computer shutting off? And that's why that's why my uh, the, my video feed on Friday was garbage. Like, one stream was like 14 minutes long, another one was half an hour long. Because my computer would turn off. I had OBS up and I was streaming, and it would just crowbar, and I, I couldn't figure it out. I thought I was gonna have to, like, get in my van and drive from Washington back down to Oregon and get a different computer. <laughs> Yeah, and then right after that, the boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. And I was just curious, Trinity, like if you had experienced anything like that or had anybody complain about that sort of thing. It was just, it was the weirdest thing.
I don't know. It might have something to do with, like, my driver, maybe? Never heard of such a thing, but I had video card issues with a few games a while back. Wound up arming the card. Shrug. Yeah, it could be that. That's a thing. It's like that. the video card that's in there, in that computer, I had in my main gaming rig, and I've been streaming it with it and stuff like that, so... I don't know. Maybe it's just some bizarre interaction with uh, the driver version that's on it. Because I did not do a clean install of the video card drivers. So. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. Alright, here's one. Oh, Lord Vothri, you are my daily mule. I have to administer the dream powder. Snore, snore. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's really creepy. Pet pets! There we go. Please, Lord Vothri, take away the pain. You're the kind soul who saved me from falling to my death. M m my, my mistress, she's been injured. Please help her, I beg you. I'm getting so comfy. It's just relaxing to hear your voice again, Adi. Your very comforting voice. Aww. Oh, yeah, the handkerchief guy. Yes. Wh what is this? She's sleeping. A medicine to help her rest while she wa awaits treatment, you say? Oh, thank you so much. When she began acting strangely, I didn't know what to do. I almost forgot about handkerchief guy. He was looking for this handker handkerchief, and it was just over the railing where the lady had accidentally dropped it. He uh, tried to grab it, but he slipped, so he was like hanging off the edge where I found her, found him. Trespassers, sullying our paradise. Where did you fly to, my sweet canary? Alright, I have to speak with Reen. There we go. That kind of night for hot chocolate, fireplace, and heavy comforter. That is tonight, Mr. Fox. It is chilly now. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing when I'm done streaming, is curling up into my warm bed. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy is the one who had the singer who couldn't sing. It, oh, right. The, uh, the, the warbler. 
The Weeping Warbler. Oh, there you are, Adi. I've just finished aiding this man. Now for the next one. More out in the derelicts and below, you say? So many of them. But Minfilia entrusted this power to me. I won't rest until I've helped everyone. And bring the enthralled to you. Oh, that would certainly make it easier for me to work. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you, Adi. I'll do my best to keep pace. going to be all right. I think that's the last of them. We've done all we can for the wounded. As for the rest... to us Let me handle this Citizens of Yulmore what I'm about to tell you will come as a shock. Indeed, you may be loath to believe it, but if you trust the evidence of your senses, it is my hope that you will listen and accept the truth, unpalatable though it may be. Only thing that's not here is my vixen. She'd keep me warm. Not saying in what way. <laughs> Let me let me take care of something real quick. Here you go. <laughs> Vortri is a sin eater. Everything he offered, everything he promised, was a lie. Yeah, so he was a Sin Eater. Hmm. Right. They're not taking it well, and who could blame them? Are you saying we were Vorthry's puppets all this time? Yep, that's exactly what we're saying. When you attacked us, you were not yourselves. That much is true. But your conduct prior to that moment was your own. Voltra's unnatural charisma does not absolve you of all responsibility. Of your own free will, you came to the city and gave yourselves over to its pleasures. And in the course of this, if you mistreated those less fortunate than you, then that too was of your own free will. Oof. Oof. It is not for me to judge you, but for your victims. For history. For your conscience. You have dreamed a twisted dream, but now you are awake. You may yet share this world of ours. Join with us and each other 
that we might begin anew. We've lost so many already. We dare not lose any more. I have said my piece. My thanks for giving me the chance. There is nothing more to be done here. Let us go after Vor Three. Is there anything we can do to help? You risked your lives to bring us to our senses, and I for one hope to repay that debt. Begin anew, as you said. Vor Three has fled to Mount Gulg, and we mean to pursue him. Do any of you know the way? The only way to Mount Gulg is over the Bright Cliff. Have you an airship? We will contemplate flight only as a last resort. Were we to come under attack whilst airborne, we would have little hope of defending ourselves. If at all possible, we would prefer to travel by land. Is there a way? The ladder is the only way up and down the cliff, but it hasn't moved in a long time. In the old days, it was operated by the mining folk who lived at the top. But after the flood, it saw less and less use, and when Lord Vorthry took control, it was abandoned altogether. So we somehow need to get the ladder working again. It moves by means of a talos, if that's any help. But good luck repairing that. We might have some experience with that. Talos? D did someone say talos? You know all about them, don't you, dearest? If anyone can get this lift moving, it's you. Um, well, perhaps. But, but, but see here. Oh, yes. If you want the golem restored, you may leave it to my husband. For he happens to be the heir to Daedalus Stoneworks, foremost makers of Talos, whose contracts include the renowned mining venture of Armoreng. Hmm. It's... Well, uh, it's been years and years since I had anything to do with it. I, I can't just pick up a hammer and set to work. You... you can't. No, that, that, that's not what I... It's just... Uh... All right, I will take a look at the Talos. But beyond that, I make no promises. Those with strong backs, come with me. I'll need help dragging the damn thing out of the storehouse. Alfie well doesn't pull done, punches, brother. not anymore. No, he doesn't. Come, my friend. We have work to do. The ladder is situated to the north and west of right. Let us make our way there, Adi.
Come on, Nugs. We've got work to do. I still can't believe my windshield wiper flew off my car at 45 miles an hour today on my way home. Like, I, I just sat there just in disbelief that that happened. I'm gonna, I'm going to sleep now. Take care, Audi. Y you too, Lucos. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. And thank you so much for that cheer, too. I super appreciate that. Oh, the Talos look a little different here. That's interesting. Adi, dost thou see yonder pair of Talos? For a blessing, they were found to be in good repair. Master Chai prepareth to activate them as we speak. With our with our arcane knowledge, Yishtola and I will serve as his assistants. At the appointed hour, we shall imbue the golems with aether. Others, meanwhile, attend to the ladder itself, which hath too long lain neglected. Extensive maintenance will be needed ere it can move again, as well as a myriad of materials which, which perform it. Paula, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Paula. Oh my gosh. Th oh, Tuz. Thank you so much for that shout out, too. Adi, 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 adi. How was the race? How did it go? Adi, 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 how did, how did everything go? Tell me. <laughs> Those are butts. Wow. I think my I think my 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 life is is complete now. I have been I have been raided by Paula. <laughs> P13 had a few mishaps, and the rain rain came in in the end. Not fun chasing the pack most of the time. Yeah, I get that. But like you like you were saying before before I had to pop out and actually go live, like you were saying, it's like a whole di it's a whole different thing. I mean, it's like, you know, all, all different folks, all different folks that you haven't, you don't race with on a regular basis, you know, and I don't know. It, it's, a, I think it's one of those things where you, you really can't be expected to perform like you do, like in Vroominium and then on the MRL, MRL stuff that you do on Mondays. I think those those are things that you're uh, that you're used to, and then when you're transplanted out of that and into this other group of people, I mean, it's like you're you're, you're like a plant going from one pot to the to another, right? You got to get your roots settled in and stuff like that. But you know, like with, like with every single race that you do, I mean, you 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 give it your all. You know, you you are exceptionally good at what you do. If thou art willing, 
We would prevail upon thee to procure lumber. I'm a lumberjack. My thanks, Adi. Directly to the south, thou wilt find a dry dock. Venmont Yards. Pray see if thou canst persuade the folk there to part with some lumber for our cause. And again, Paula, thank you so much for the raid. And welcome, raiders. Uh, we are playing a bit of Final Fantasy. Uh, we have just discovered that Vothri, you know, that big fat jerk, uh, is basically a Sin Eater, and then he kind of flew away. And now we're trying to get up to where he is. Can we see it from here? I don't, I don't know if we can. There's a mountain that he plucked from the land and now is in the sky. And uh, we're trying to figure out a way to get there. So, let's see. That's where I need to go. Ah, uh, thank you, Ayami. Here's Irvith. Ho there, sinner. Haven't seen you around before. New to Gate Town. If you need lumber for a shack, you've come to the right place. We can do the building for you too, though that'll cost you extra. You want lumber to restore the ladder? Why in the world would anyone want to do that? If you don't have the coin, least you could do is come up with a believable excuse. But look, I'm not one to turn folk away. I'll give you your lumber if you do me a favor in return. I just finished taking stock of our supply and was about to do another round for good measure. I want you to do the counting instead. We'll see if your total matches mine. Now, some of the lumber is lying around the yard, but most of it is kept in the storehouse. For these, you can just ask Grheel for the number. Here, I'll lend you some writing materials so you can take notes. Taking stock for Irvith, are you? Well, last I counted, we had 68 planks in the storehouse here. Nine of those were rotted through, though, so we tossed them out. Oi, Grahil, another load's just arrived. Thirteen planks, all told, but one's damaged. It's only, it's only good for kindling now. Right, then. Bring the good ones here, and be sure to let Arith know as well. Ah! Pravda! Holy crap! Thank you so much for the raid! All kinds of good beans raiding tonight. Y'all are too kind to me. Welcome. How are y'all doing tonight? And how was I racing? D did you kick butt? Oh, Pravda, thank you so much for the resub. Three months. Bless. You're amazing. Oh, 
<laughs> Foxo love. Foxo loves Fluffy Bean. Gets Foxo love. Aww. I got my butt kicked and destroyed. Not in a good way. What? What happened, you sweet bean? So, er, how many planks does that make now? Er, you're writing down those numbers anyway, right? I'm sure you can work it out. Well, I wasn't writing anything down. Sorry, honey. You jot down the details of the conversation. No, Pravda. Oh, that sucks. Also, Tuz, I got that message, and you're crazy. <laughs> Lumber stack. How many planks are on this stack? Okay, 11. stack around here somewhere. Where is the stack? I don't see it around. My rules for playing games. I don't care if I win or lose. I'd rather have fun while doing so. Yeah. That is great advice, actually. And the thing is, at the same time, like, you you gotta also feel like you're, you're making some progress, too. Like, I totally get how... After a while of, like, you know, trying and trying and trying, like, you feel like you're not getting anywhere, it kind of sucks all the fun out of stuff sometimes. You know, you get, you kind of get the sense that you're wasting your time. It's 24 stacks. done, are you? So how many planks did you count? Key items? Okay. Eleven. Okay. Eleven and twenty-four, which is thirty-five. Alright. I have to get out my calculator because I'm stupid. Alright, so we got 35. 68 in storehouse, 9 discarded. So that is 59. Seventy-two. Seventy one. 
So 71 plus 35. Hundred and six. Aye, that's exactly what I counted. Thanks for your help, friend. Taking stock fair puts me to sleep. But it has to be done. As promised, I'll give you your lumber. What you what you need it for anyway? What you need Bruh Bruh. What do you need it for anyway? You were serious about the ladder? I'll be damned. If that's the case, please let us help with the work. We're shipwrights with no ships to build, only shacks. While it's a living, we all itch to do something greater. This fellow you say is in charge. You reckon he'd mind the likes of us barging in on his project? He won't mind. Wonderful. I'll round up the lads and lasses and we'll head over to the ladder, along with all the lumber you need. Hiya, Fyra! Hi, Adi. Just popping in real quick. Have fun with Final Fantasy XIV. Aw, thank you so much. It's nice to see you, Fyra. When I was playing Battlefield IV, I goofed off more in that game than anything else. But I did get a lot of fun while playing as well. Oh, the, th the things I've done in that game. I am a bad influence when it comes to C4 and vehicle physics. <laughs> I would make them fly across the map. That's awesome. On a more positive note, I raced Lumi in my Huayra earlier in FH5. Oh. Gonna step away for dinner, back in a few. Alrighty, Trinity. Have a good dinner, okay? Yeah, I think the... I think I said that right. Huayra. That would that's a um that's a Pagani a Pagani car, isn't it? Yep. Kind of the 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 same sorts of cars like the uh, the Zonda and 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 stuff like that. Like really the only the only reason I know that those cars even exist is just thanks to Top Gear. <laughs> There we go. Alright, so back to the Catman. Oh my god, oh my god, Ayami. <laughs> I think you have a vendetta against this avatar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta do the pet pets too. Bean pets. There we go. Yeah. Pets. Ended up kicking him in the fluffy butt with an F40. Oh, nice. <laughs> Play second out of twelve people in that drag. That's awesome. Yeah, I was uh, I was haunting uh, Lumi when I got home from work. Ah, thou art returned. Wert thou able to procure the lumber? Well, well. To secure not only the material, but the eager cooperation of the shipwrights besides, their expertise shall greatly avail our efforts. Master Chai's own efforts have not been without struggle, but he hath proven himself to be a determined soul. I doubt not but, the, but that the work shall be complete ere long, 
and we may continue on our way once more. I would redeem the other one too, but it's not redeemable. Why isn't it redeemable? The other one. I thought uh, there's there's just the three: the pumpkin, uh, bean, and the normal one. Oh, you mean okay? So, oh, I get it. All right. Yeah, you can't redeem my regular one because it's my regular one. Although, maybe I should make that a redeem. Oh, uh, Ayami, I think uh, you have ten punches on your pet pet uh, on your pet pet card, so uh, you get a free pet pet. There we go. Oh yeah. And that emote. Is that a Willow emote, by the way? Because that is like the cutest friggin' emote. <laughs> Though it hath been years in the making, at long last do the people stand united in defiance of the world's fate, their hopes spurring us ever onward towards journey's end. Whatsoever may await us, when thou takest those final steps, I pray it shall be with a smile upon thy face. Yeah, what would a Christmas Adi look like? I'd say, like, you know, I could, you know, be a Christmas tree Sona or something like that, but I think Pine has got that on lock. I'd probably get sued for copyright infringement. Uh, but prematurely do I give myself to sentimental musings. Many more pressing concerns demand our attention. Not the least of which is the matter of how we might reach the mountain, detached from the land as it is. For the present, it would appear we have matters here well in hand. Perhaps thou shouldst take thine ease for a time? Thou wilt need every ons of thy strength for the trials ahead. Haha, <laughs> rest. You're funny, Yeranje. Oh, I'm not... I'm not good at outfits, but I definitely give it a... A doodle. Aww. Or maybe something like similar to like my my pumpkin tuber. Except instead of a pumpkin, I'm kind of peeking out of a tree or something like that. That might be cute. I wonder if we could get Sky to do that. Would you look at that? The citizens of Yulmor engaging in what can only be described as manual labor. Who would have thought it possible? Do you know the most reliable way to deal with those who stubbornly refuse to see reason? You conquer them crush them under heel. Such was the trusted method of Alec, and one steel favored by Garlemald. But conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. 
This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones, a difficult feat to achieve. But you have achieved just that, to my considerable surprise. It's a compliment. Take it. The vibrant energy that fills the air when like-minded souls gather. To think back on that time before time, fair brings a tear to the eye. What? You thought ancient beings like us incapable of crying? Well, rest assured that if your heart can be broken, then so can mine. Back when the world was whole, we had family, friends, loves. Men knew peace and contentment, and with our adamant souls, we could live for an age. There was no conflict born of want or disparity. Our differences paled into insignificance next to all we had in common. And then there was Amarok. Never was a city more magnificent. From the humblest streets to the highest spires, she fairly gleamed. Not that you would remember any of this. Remember? Never mind. The point is, the world of old was a far better place than what we have now. I believe you would like it, having witnessed the things you have. Remember, you are of the source. Unlike the half-men here, you stand only to gain. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal, a complete existence in a complete world. But such talk is a pleasure for later. Back to work, hero. Ah, there was one thing I had meant to ask. How well do you know the Exile? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cow? I know who he is already. Pet pets. Bean pets. What? Never? Even to you? How very interesting. I shall enjoy working out what it means. Until next time. It doesn't matter what's under his cowl. Oh, I knew you could do it, dearest! I never doubted you for a moment. There they are. It's alive. Oh, Ardbert. Haven't seen him in a while. I don't know if you remember, but when we first met in this world, I was all but spent. I never thought to wonder why until now. I think it all just got to be too much. The guilt of causing the flood. Knowing everyone hated me. 
But the worst thing was the solitude. Time wears you down, I. But solitude eats away at you. It was this close to finishing me off. But as bad as it got, and as empty as I felt, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like for M itself. All of which is a long way of saying, don't make a choice that leaves you alone. Nothing is worth that, especially not eternity. Glad tidings, my friend. The ladder lives again. The three of us have been invited to do the honors. Are you up for it? Of course, if you're worried that the whole thing might come crashing down, we can always find someone else. <laughs> pun after pun. That's the spirit. Come on, then. We rode the ladder too, my comrades and I. Once upon a time. Watch the horizon grow and the town shrink below us. Awed and terrified in equal measure, we ascended without a word, the silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. No one but me remembers that day. Remembers our journey and our end. Retread the path. Seek and you may yet find. Here we finally are, at the top rung. The others should arrive ere long. Elfino, Adi, come up here. There's something I needed you to see. What could this be about? Okay, I went up too far. There's a village, Adi, over to the northeast. So there is. Yet after two decades without ladder in operation, I would not be surprised if such an isolated settlement had long been abandoned. Nor I, but that was before I spied someone leave it and proceed to head in our direction, all the while trying to remain unseen. Whoever this mysterious person is, they should still be out there. Go on and take a look, Adi. Is 
switch your surroundings for the mysterious person. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target the figure and inspect them with left click. All right. Ah, right there. You've located the mysterious person. However, it seems he has likewise spotted you and hardly turns back to the village. Interesting. There's someone, right? And they were spying on us. Personally, I don't feel comfortable not knowing who they are. What do you say we investigate? I'm curious too, I must admit. And I dare say we have a bit of time ere the others ascend. It's settled then. Let's head to the village and see if it's indeed inhabited. Defective Talos. Food has been hung out to dry in the sun, and quite recently by your reckoning. Hmm. So there's definitely somebody living here. You hear faint sounds from inside the building, however the door refuses to budge. The cups are half empty, or half full, depending on how you see such things. Behind the counter, a kettle bubbles steadily over the stove. Zadi. Were you able to find anything of note? People are definitely still living here. Indeed. While there's no one to be seen, tis plain that this village is anything but abandoned. If the villagers are trying to conceal themselves, they are doing a rather poor job of it. But if they don't wish to be seen, what are we to do? I say, aren't you the ones who saved my life? Oh, 
Ah, yes. The artist that was thrown out of Yulmor. Like, literally thrown off the top balcony. You're Tristel, the artist from Yulmor. You remembered. Ever since we parted ways, I've worried for you. Bound for the city as you were, never did I imagine I w that we would meet again. And here, of all places. We could say the very same thing to you, my friend. I'm glad to see you hail and whole. But tell me, what is this village? This is Hemity. A settlement made up of those who survived being exiled from Yulmor. As I wandered the wilds, I chanced to cross paths with an inhabitant of these parts. Ooh. Alrighty, Fox. You have a good night, too, okay? Sleep well. He took me he took me through a secret tunnel which led to the top of the bright cliff. I've been here ever since. Life is hard, but we know a semblance of peace. Well, we did at any rate. Until Mount Gold broke away from the earth. Then just as suddenly the ladder started moving again. And you feared whoever was coming up would threaten your lives? Aye, but I see now there's no cause for concern. Will you tell me what has brought you here? So Vothri is a Sin Eater, and he's fled to Mount Golg. Tis a strange tale, but I have no reason to doubt your words. I owe you my life. If there is anything I can do to help, you need but say the word. Your help would be most welcome, Tristel. To begin with, we request your people's permission to reconnoiter the area. If we are to confront Vothri, we must find a way to mount, reach Mount Golg. Of course. You hardly need our permission to be here. I will tell the others about you and yours. Now, we haven't much to offer in the way of hospitality. But our visit, our village is at your disposal. Please use it as you see fit in your quest. You know, eventually I'm gonna hit 80. I'm very close now. Weapon coffer. Yet another hapless soul that Alphano saved from mortal danger, I see. Some things never change. At any rate, it seems that Brother has a mind to has a mind to linger. Meanwhile, I have a mind for us to explore. Adi and I are going to scout out the area. We'll be back in a while. Oh, very well. Just take care out there. All right. We are going to make our way to Alize via chicken back. There she is. The path diverges. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. I'll go east if you would be so kind as to head west. We can aim to meet at the foot of the mountain, taking note of what we see along the way in a short while. Then.
little purple cloud that usually means a battle. So let's see what happens. Yep, Sin Eater. Two sin eaters. You're a sight for sore eyes. I don't know about you, but I bumped into quite a few Sin Eaters out there. You too, then. It seems the closer we get to Mount Gulg, the more of them there are. Yep. He's a Light Warden. Looks a lot bigger from here, doesn't it? If I were Vorthry, the first thing I'd do is surround myself with as many Sin Eaters as I could lay my hands on. And judging by the number we've already faced, his Lordship is of the same mind. This is going to be a tough climb. But first things first. We need to determine if climbing is even an option. The more I look, the less likely it seems. Ishtola is right to be worried. But flying may be our only choice after all. Uh... What's that all about? There you are. Master Alphano was afeard you had met with some misfortune. Burianger. And you too, Exarch. What brings you here? I wish to observe the final struggle with my own eyes. Pet pets. I arrived at Bottom Run too late to accompany you. 
but I was in time to join Urianger and the others. Come, let us see how this unfolds. Seems flying is off the table. If we have learned that much, then the Machina have served their purpose. Ah, so that's what they were for. Wasteful, but effective. It would seem our foe will not be reached by land or air. We must needs withdraw to consider another course. Master Alphano waiteth for us at top rung. Thither should we make our way. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get a picture of that. That's funny. See if it came out. Yes, perfect. Awesome. Supposedly, there we go. Perfect. Uh, well, I use good old paint most of the time, uh, but if I'm in game, I actually use uh, I use Steam for that. Steam is actually a great way to uh, uh, take take pictures and do all that stuff. So Steam has a way that you can launch. Yeah, the camera shutter was uh, the camera shutter was actually Final Fantasy acknowledged, acknowledging that I pre pressed the print screen button. I think there's something in the keybinds for that. But yeah, to answer your question, like uh, Steam has a way that you can. Uh, use the Steam overlay with games that are not Steam games. So that's how I use Final Fantasy. Like, basically, whenever I take screenshots, I press my F12 key, and then it goes into my screenshots folder that I can use later. And I still get, you know, all the good stuff out of uh, the Steam overlay. Oh, like, services other than Steam, or... Oh, I see. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the, ni the nice thing about Steam is, like, it takes the screen... Whenever it takes screenshots, they're local only, and you have to manually upload them. Cliff. 
was watching Sirius entering random URLs, and we found so many things. Some were sensitive Steam billing info screenshots, which goes to show online screenshots are not safe at all. Wow. Really? Holy crap. Oh, oops. Yeah. Yikes. That's weird. I thought I got I thought I got rid of that. I thought I got <laughs> I thought I got rid of the uh the the paint thing, but I guess not. Thanks for letting me know, Trinity. I teased him saying, what if we found something in SFW? Maybe even GIF by accident. Yeah. But we ended up finding it. Ah. Uh, oh, wow. Yikes. Hmm. I didn't, s I didn't expect to see the chai up there. Though, I suppose it's well within their threads. At any rate, it's time to tackle our next little obstacle, finding a way to reach Mount Gulk. For this, we'll need to put our, all our heads together. Give me that weapon. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Dwarven Ligma Bow. Let me see my Ligma Bow. That is a beefy piece of machinery, not gonna not gonna lie. That that is a Ligma Bow, alright. In short, there's no path, and the sky is thick with Vorthry's winged devils. We might consider Amaro, but without extensive training, we cannot hope to contend with the Eaters. Yulmor's airship fleet, meanwhile, consists solely of transport vessels ill-suited for battle. And without the expertise of one such as Sid, we are in no position to attempt a refit. Frustrating! That wretched mountain should jolly well come back down to us! Now, now, dearest. We mustn't disturb these good people at their work. We've ridden the ladder and seen the sights. It's past time we took our leave. The lady may well have the right of it. Mount Gulg will not soon come down to Earth, nor can we compel it to do so. But if the mountain will not come to the land, mayhap the land may be made to come to the mountain. In the form of a Talos. A Talos large enough to reach out and take the volcano in its grasp. To build such a golem would be an onerous undertaking indeed. Yet the principle seemeth sound in itself. Boulder Dash! No one has ever made one even half that size. Leaving aside the small matter of logistics, which, by the way, would be no small matter, the design would be unimaginably complex. Though, I suppose, hmm, if its only function is to cling to the ruddy mountain, perhaps it needn't be. Solid base, firmly rooted to the ground, sacrifice mobility to simplify the construction, reducing materials required. Wait, 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 what am I thinking? We would still need a veritable army of people to do the work. 
Left to the crew that helped down below, it would take decades, if not a nice round century. So we need more hands. And what sort of things would these hands be required to do? Oh, uh, well, uh, well, let's see. First, we need people to procure the stone for the chassis. The rock found near the mountain would suit our purposes well enough. It'd be a simple task to quarry the stuff, but given the stupendous quantity required, we'd need all the help we can get. We have friends amongst the miners of Armoring. I will go and petition their aid. While you do that, I'll make for Maud Souk. I'm sure I'll be able to drum up some support. Then I shall return to Calusia. From fishers to carpenters, Yulmore is home to all manner of talented folk. I dare say their skills will avail us. Is there anything else you need? Well, yes, actually. Magic. Lots of the stuff, as much as possible. To awaken a talus of this size would require an entire congregation of mages. Many among the Knights Blessed are gifted in the arcane arts. I will recruit them to our cause. The Fey Folk, too, possess surpassing aptitude in magics. Yet they are not wont to cooperate in the endeavors of men. Leastwise, not without making all manner of mischief. <laughs> Indeed. That being the case, I would instead call upon the people of the Crystarium, with thy permission, Exarch. We are at your disposal, as are our Amaro and Chocobos. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me you can call on not only the people of Yulmore and the Crystarium, but the Knights Blessed and the Maud, and even those miners? But that's just about everyone in Bally Norvrand. Who are you? people. And how did you come to have so many friends? Because we're good people? The artist Alfano and his assistants. <laughs> oh, dearest, have you forgotten already? Alfino told us that when we first met. Um, actually, th that may not have been. Uh, I mean, never mind. <laughs> As you can see, you will not want for bodies. I trust you will have your design ready in good time for their arrival. Norvrant is counting on you, heir to Daedalus Stoneworks. Ah, oh, she's so pretty and I hit the wrong button again. There we go. We'll be back as soon as we can, and we'll bring the whole world with us. I take it we will be assisting Master Chai, though I am quite sure he has everything under control. Have the design ready, she says. In good time, she says. Does she even understand what's involved? 
Before I can even attempt to design anything, I need an in, in intimate knowledge of the land. The knowledge of locals. Last I heard, no one lives here. What? A village of Yomoran exiles? But, but those people have every reason to loathe a free citizen like me. They couldn't possibly be willing to cooperate. Ugh, this will never work. Never! I never should have fixed that ruddy lift. Never should have ridden it up here. Never should have. Never should have. Oh dear, Darling appears to have lost the plot. But he has it in him, Adi. He's the cleverest man I know. He just wants for confidence sometimes. If you were to give him some words of encouragement, I'm sure he can give you your talos. A bit of advice I learned from his mother. He responds poorly to obvious praise. He'll need to find another way to stoke the fires of his motivation. Awaken his sense of daring. Choose words that will best encourage Chinese. In order to succeed, you must lift his spirit sufficiently during the conversation. I can't do it. No one can. A talus of that size? No one. Uh, no one's ever dreamed of it. Alphino once struggled to, look, to collect firewood. He did? But he's such a capable lad, brimming with confidence. Hmm. I suppose even the most capable among us have struggles to overcome. China still harbors some misgivings. But regardless of my own feelings, I can't do a damn thing without help from those villagers, and they're not, and they're not Bali likely to give it. Crystals among them. You said you're so yourself? Lest you've forgotten, we essentially sent him to his death. Even if the others don't bear a personal grudge, he would never forgive us. You don't know until you apologize. I'll come with you. Hmm. If you were there too... Perhaps he'd be more willing to an accept apo He'd be more willing to an accept an apology. Wait, 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 what am I thinking? Relying on others to fight my battles? It's disgraceful. Is what it is. And it might even make things worse. China still harbors some misgivings. And in the end. It's not even a question of forgiveness. Building such an enormous talos is impossible, and no amount of contrition will change that. And even if by some miracle the people of Amity were willing to let bygones be bygones, they'd think that the plan is absurd. I think it's absurd. We liberated a castle with a strategy that many would call absurd. Well now, to flood the very castle you sought to reclaim? Such a strategy would indeed be considered absurd. Yet you succeeded not in spite of, but because of it. Our own strategy may likewise seem absurd, but maybe, just maybe it stands a better chance of success for it. China's is feeling somewhat optimistic. Be that as it may, there are risks to consider should the venture fall. Aye, imagine for a moment that we fail to reach Vothri and only succeed in provoking him. In his fury, he may well unleash his hordes of eaters and will meet a horrible end. Then we'll go together. 
Oh, so I can die with you? How very kind of you to offer, but it's all the same. I'd rather keep on living. How can you remain so, so optimistic throughout all this? It's downright tiring. Tell me, why did you throw yourself in the midst of such a grueling struggle? To protect those I love. Indeed, what else could compel us to face such dangers? I too have someone I wish to protect, with whom I want to live out the rest of, the, of my days in peace. Chinos is burning with motivation. There we go. He's a Super Saiyan now. Yes, yes, by the gods I can do this. I just need to have a little faith in myself. Right, let's head to Amity and speak with the villagers. With Tristel. My love, things are liable to become more dangerous. I want you to wait for me back in Yelmore. Nope. Wherever you go, I'm going too. Besides, you're not the only one who has to apologize. But, but there's no telling what may happen out there. I don't know if I can keep you safe. Perhaps this is a bad idea after all. I don't think I have what it takes. Julia Chai, Chai is so wonderful. <laughs> she is, actually. I didn't really think much of her when I first met her, but I agree. Master Chai, you are the you that you are beset with doubt is proof that you can envision the task ahead. And that which man, man can envision, he can make reality. Thus did some old friends of mine once say. Even should it be a feat fit for the divine, if something has to be has been done before, then it most assuredly can be done again by our own hands. That's a little idealistic, don't you think? Perhaps, Master Chai, perhaps. But what is a man if not an ideal idealistic creature? It is not an easy thing to achieve one's dreams. My friends can attest to that. Countless times did they meet with frustration in the course of their endeavors. None would have found fault with them had they given up. Yet they never did. One step after the next, they forge on toward their goals. And for their determination, they accomplished numerous feats that many believed lay beyond the reach of mankind. Like them, you are a man of science. Admits your doubts? Surely there is a spark of desire, the desire to make the impossible possible. Come, darling, like the old days. I would be the first to see your Talos. And you shall be, my dear. I would have none other at my side when my greatest masterpiece awakens. Right then, to Amity. Give me a sec, folks. There we go. Right. 
So I think actually probably right now actually might be a good spot to stop. I'm getting a little tuckered out and I am getting mega hungry. So I think I should probably eat some dinner. But please stick around for the raid. I think, let's see, give me one second. Yeah, definitely a hungry bean. <laughs> I wish. And actually, no, I don't. I think y'all, you know, deserve somebody different than me. So I think, uh... Somebody I haven't raided in a while uh, is Turbid. Turbid's playing Final Fantasy XIV right now. And at least according to Twitch, uh, Turbid is doing mentor roulettes, which I have never done, ever. So I don't know what to expect there. So let's pop on over. Let me get it started real quick. There you go. Like I said, please stick around. Uh, Turbid's using my favorite v uh, VTuber avatar that they did. <laughs> That's so cute. Right, so we're headed on over there. Please stick around for the raid. Turbid's a good bean. Um, if you're not following already, you definitely should. Turbid's awesome. Just super chill. Uh, they've helped out and on. Uh, they've helped me out on numerous occasions. Uh, doing various things in Final Fantasy, like duties and stuff. So yeah, they deserve all of, all of the love, really. So, without further ado, let's head on over there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching tonight. Uh, the next time I'm going to be streaming is Friday night at 6 p.m. PST. Uh, so, I uh, hope to see you then. Um, and uh, take care, okay? Have a great night. And love you too, Yami.